This is uh, my exterior 75 gallon uh, tank. It was set up as a, a standalone skid with uh, three 10 gallon refugiums in series on the bottom. Uh, this, this system, this skid, has been coupled to 350 gallon tanks that are sunk in the ground. And right here, the water comes in and goes out. It blends with the circulating system uh, on this skid. So I, it's somewhat of a hybrid system. Uh, I, I recently converted it over to vertical loop current. This tank will also be growing dragon's breath in a, in a tumble culture. These are the 150 gallon tanks that uh, complete that system I just described that's on my porch. Uh, this top tank has a circulating pump that brings it to the tanks uh, on the porch and uh, it also receives discharge from the lowest tank and so it's a mixing tank of the two systems. Uh, these two tanks right now uh, have mollies that are second and third generation uh, in marine salt. Um, I keep them in all my tanks to help keep them clean. Alright, we're going to go to the big... This is the tank. Uh, the 5,000 gallon tank is in the background with the, uh, the fountain streams uh, helping with evaporative cooling. Uh, this four foot deep 5,000 gallon tank will be coupled with these 850 gallon Rubbermaid troughs uh, to stabilize the temperature swings. The four foot tank uh, does not change temperature very much during the day, particularly with the evaporative cooling. And I'm going to use that to stabilize the temperature in these small troughs which is uh, hitting 83 and 84. Uh, it's difficult now to show you. Uh, it's, a, it's 100 degrees out here. The, it's high noon, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. But uh, I'll get better pictures here in the water so you can see what's going on. But I've got, uh, I've got a lot of room here to expand and that's what I'm doing. So talk more about it later.